Maybe we need a break from being cooped up indoors during the cold weather season. A quick getaway might provide a nice break, and one option is to take a horse-drawn wagon tour of Chautauqua Institution right near Mayville, New York. Our John Last hopped on board for this edition of The Last Word. There's a lot of history here at the Chautauqua Institution, and one way to learn about it is pretty historic, too. For over 40 years, the State Line Draft Horse Club has given horse-drawn wagon rides at Chautauqua Institution. It's a great way to learn about the 750-acre Education and Recreation Center founded in 1874, if you don't mind braving the sub-freezing winter temperatures. And they wanted it like that. That's why it's called Thunder Bridge. Our guide on this day is Rod Anderson, who interjects our tour with some wit. The horses can't read. It's a one-way street, so we can go down it because they can't read. The wagon rides are offered only on weekends in January and February. Once warm weather arrives, the pavement is too busy with people walking or on bikes. So even though it's cold, it's nice to sit back and listen to the clop, clop, clop of the horses. The tour includes the Chautauqua Amphitheater, which hosts world-class performers. Rod describes it as a big hole in the ground with seats in it. And it's got the world's largest outdoor organ in there. Chautauqua is a showcase for beautiful and unique architecture, which can be seen on your ride. There's the Octagon House. You look at that, it's eight-sided. You look at the top, it would look straight down at the top, it would look like a star. It's, it's really, and it's just a, a meeting place. There's the majestic Athenaeum Hotel. It's the largest wooden structure east of the Mississippi. It's the first one with electric lights, thanks to Thomas Edison. Edison is one of the many historic figures who has lived here or visited here. This was Edison's house. He was known to host many giants of industry on his porch for a sip of wine. The horses now take us to the former home of the founder of the old Murphy's Five and Dime Store Empire. If you look closely, you can see the Roman numerals for five and ten on the shutters. Chautauqua streets remain Millionaire's Row, especially near the lake, where condos have been built. With the last word at Chautauqua Institution, John Last, Erie News Now. Whoa! <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, all right. What a, what a cool tour that is. Those wagon tours will be held again on Saturdays and Sundays through February. The first ride leaves at 1 p.m., the last ride leaving around 3 p.m. They cost $6 for adults, $4 for children, and don't worry about the horses. We're told they do love the cold weather.